Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download IPTV Smarters Pro on Android TV, but this also works on Fire Stick or Fire TV from Amazon. The first thing we need to do is download the app called Downloader. Just make sure the author of the app is AFTV News. Any other could be a clone. Click on Install. Wait until it finishes downloading and installing and now I'll tell you some important steps. Downloader is an app primarily created for TVs or TV boxes to facilitate downloading third-party files outside the Play Store. Since IPTV Smarters Pro was removed from the Play Store, this is currently the only method. Now I'll tell you what's important. When we download the .apk file, it may attempt to install at that moment. A window will open asking for permissions, and we accept everything. We'll see this in a few minutes, but I'm telling you in advance. Now open the downloader application, close the window that appears, and right on this line type the code I'll leave in the description. This code may vary and stop working over time, so make sure to check the current one in the description. We click on Go and wait for the APK file to download. These are the permissions I mentioned earlier. Now we go to settings, check the box, and now we can install IPTV Smarters Pro. I'll simply click on done but you can open the application right away. I'll just quickly explain something. If the download fails, it's most likely because Downloader didn't ask for permissions, and as a result, you didn't activate them. If that happens, you can go to Files in Downloader once you granted permissions to Downloader, and then try installing the .apk again without having to download it again. Now I'll proceed to open the application. Upon opening it, it will ask you which device you're using, whether it's a TV or a smartphone. Choose the correct one because selecting the wrong one can often lead to a lot of incompatibility. Now let's try to load an account that I already have created. First, we enter login with Xtreme Codes API. After that, we'll enter the data for our account. In the first line, we put any name. It can literally be anything. I'll put any name in Spanish. Then, enter the username, password, and the URL. It's very important to write the URL as HTTP and not as HTTPS since this will cause an error. Proceed to log in and wait for it to load. And we're in. Now all we have left is to download the content, which includes live channels, movies, and series. Now we'll see the sections that the application offers us, such as account info, where we can view the number of connections we have, expiration date, etc. In recordings, as the name suggests, we find the replays or episodes of the live channels that we've saved. At the moment, this IPTV server doesn't have catch-up, but it's planned to be implemented later. In settings, we won't be able to change anything as they'll ask us to purchase the premium version. Um, it's not really necessary to buy it since it includes some functions, but they're not essential. You can continue using the free version without any problem as you'll never be charged or shown ads. But if you happen to have a couple of extra dollars to spare for buying it, I would recommend it to support the author. In switch users, we can add or remove users. If we want to return to the main menu, we go back with List Users and select our profile. 
in the live TV movies and series buttons, if we go right below, we can refresh that section of the content in case we want to check if something new has been added. Alright, now you know how to install IPTV Smarters Pro on Android TV and how to load accounts in the same app. Now I'll show you a bit of content from this provider. It's really good to be honest. It has channels from the USA, Latin America, and Spain. I'll censor the content because I don't want the video to be removed due to copyright issues. I'll leave you with the music and say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching the video. If it was helpful, subscribe and share it with your friends. Don't forget to like it. Thanks and see you soon.